Welcome to this video presentation from Computer Aided Technology. My name is Nathan Fierce. I am an application engineer out of the St. Louis office. I work with 3D scanners and 3D printers. And today I'm going to be talking about how 3D scanners from Creoform can be used in the aerospace industry to facilitate innovation. Here's a quick agenda of what I'm going to be going through. First, I'm going to introduce Computer Aided Technology and who we are as a company. Then I'm going to go into 3D scanning and what it is and how it can be advantageous over other technologies that exist today. Then I'm going to talk about some applications of 3D scanners, both at a high level and some specific applications, including two quick case studies. Then I'm going to run through the Creaform product portfolio and talk about features and specifications of our different scanners. Then. We'll go through one final case study from Bell Textron and how they're looking to use Curiform 3D scanners in their processes. So who is CATI? Well, Computer Aided Technology, or CATI for short, is a one-stop shop for all the technology you need for your design process. We offer SOLIDWORKS as well as the rest of the Dassault family of products, including Katia. We also offer product lifecycle management and product data management services such as SOLIDWORKS PDM and our own Inflow. On the hardware side, we sell 3D printers from Stratasys as well as offer a paid parts printing service, and we also sell 3D scanners and software from Creaform. We have over 150 engineers dedicated to help you find the right solution for your project and your team, no matter how big or small. We have experts in many different fields like added manufacturing, simulation, and PDM or PLL, as well as many different industries such as automotive, medical, consumer products, and of course, aerospace. Our team provides 12 hours of live and local support for you five days a week from 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Here you can see a map of our reach across the entire country with offices coast to coast in 30 different states. We are proud to be the largest value added reseller in North America. That being said, we'd be nothing without the great solutions we offer, including 3D scanning. But what exactly is 3D scanning? Well, simply put, 3D scanning is an optical measurement method using reflected light to determine the geometry of objects. It's a technology that's becoming more and more popular due to its advantages over other technology, such as hand tools and coordinate measurement machines, or CMMs for short. Down at the bottom, you can see hand tools and you would be fairly imprecise with them and it would be harder to get repeatable results. And the CMM you have to have a calibrated slab of granite as well as hard fixture for each part. With the scanner you can see we just put a couple targets on and we're good to go with our scan. Some of the many benefits of Creaform 3D scanners are listed here. With Creaform scanners having accuracies down below one thousandth of an inch or 25 microns you can get immense amount of fine detail from your scans. Not only are they extremely accurate, but they're also extremely fast. The HandyScan Black Elite takes over 1.3 million measurements a second. Of course, with its speed and precision, it requires you to be just as precise while using it, right? Wrong. With a simple button interface on the device and point and shoot functionality, it's incredibly easy to use. Not only that, but our scanners will generate a mesh for you on screen as you scan so you can see exactly what you've gotten and what you haven't. Due to its accuracy, precision, and ease of use, our metrology grade scanners are inherently repeatable and can give you extremely repeatable results for all of your inspection needs. And last but not least, Creeform scanners are portable. All you need is your scanner, a laptop, and power for the scanner, and you're set. No need for a lab with a calibrated work table and rigid setup. You can take the scanner to the part on the factory floor, outside, or even to the machine and scan it while it's still in the machine's vise. We even have portable battery packs for remote scanning if that's something you're interested in. Now let's see how it works. 
The process of scanning starts with applying targets to the part in order to give it its own local coordinate system. Next, when we start the scan, the scanner instantly acquires the local alignment of the part based on the targets. This safeguards against measurement drift from non-ideal environments or vibrations caused by the operator. Then, you just run the laser across, across the surface of the part, and finally, it digitizes that part in real time on your screen. If we take a closer look on what's actually going on, the scanner is working in conjunction with the software to create 3D points in a virtual environment that represent points on the physical surface of the part. Utilizing the local coordinate system provided by the targets, these points are arranged and connected into a mesh surface, not a point cloud. Although 3D scanning is a flexible technology with many uses, they could generally be characterized into two groups. That's reverse engineering and inspection. They both start the same way with acquiring a surface mesh from the scanning process. After that, they start to differ. For reverse engineering, the scan is used as a reference in order to create a CAD model. On the other hand, for inspection, the scan is compared to an existing CAD model or even another scan. Just remember that these are the two main uses at a very broad sense. Many different applications can be derived from these two processes. So let's dive a bit deeper into the reverse engineering and inspection processes and talk about some specific applications that we can get from that. First, let's go into a little more detail about the three different types of modeling from scan geometry. Parametric, which is that gray part pictured in the middle, surface, which is the yellow at the bottom, and hybrid, which is at the right. Parametric modeling uses parametric entities and functions that create solids. This means that we obtain or infer idealized solid geometry from the scan model itself. Unfortunately, there is no easy button for this process, but we'll still need some legwork, but you're going to start at a much more advantageous spot with much more information. Then, there's surface modeling. That's where you make freeform surfaces composed of patches and control points. This is generally the best way to recreate the exact geometry of the scan itself. However, this comes at the cost of editability, and any imperfections of the part are going to be translated directly into your CAD. You can manipulate the surfaces some, but you won't have the full flexibility of a parametric vector tree. And then there's the hybrid modeling, which combines solids and surface for a best of both worlds approach. This is great for when full parametric designs aren't needed. In many cases, such as this pipe, there are only a few features that you need to be parametric, such as the flanges and the mounting holes, while the exact geometry of the pipe itself is unimportant and is only really needed for interference checks. So when we have these models, what can we do with them? Well, to start, by utilizing scanned and reverse engineered geometry, you could have a concrete understanding of the geometry you intend to design from at the beginning of your design process and can prevent design changes later down the road. For instance, this crane attachment that they're designing for this tractor has a lot of mounting locations that you would want to be perfectly flush and precise. At the same time, they could plan to prevent any cable contact with the roof of the cabin. Alternatively, being able to digitize handmade models accurately, like this sculpted car body, would be an enormous pain without having definitive scan geometry that you can pull into your CAD software. In addition to that, many prototypes, especially in the early design phase, don't originate exactly from CAD, are modified from existing parts, or are modified themselves as the design develops. Scanning can help easily log these changes and accurately reproduce them in CAD for your reference. Scanners can also be used to create tooling and jigs. This can be done in a bunch of ways, like creating a mold by scanning an object and then removing its volume from a solid block. Then all you need is a split line and some finishing features. Or 
you can create a production jig for a part that you don't have cut for by scanning it and using its geometry to plan for fixture locations. You can also use scanned parts to be run through simulation software such as SOLIDWORKS Simulation or Abacus. This lets you virtually test your part as manufactured as a sanity check before putting an expensive part through any sort of destructive process. Now let's look at how one company put Creoform 3D scanners to good use with a focus on reverse engineering. Jet Aviation is one of the leading business aviation service companies in the world. They have close to 5,000 employees that cater to client needs from 26 airport facilities throughout Europe, Middle East, Asia, North and South America. The company provides maintenance, completions and refurbishment, engineering, fixed base operations, along with aircraft management, charter services, and aircraft sales and personnel services. Using CATIA V5 software and Creoform scanners, a team was able to create the digital reconstruction of the 737's interior with immense detail. This includes the framing, wiring and tubing, and other various mechanisms. They actually used three Creoform devices in conjunction to complete this task that was expected to take three and a half years in under five months. These tools help save over three years of time, and we all know the time is money. For inspection, the workflow differs where you're going to need an existing model, a drawing, or a golden or perfect part. Creeform's inspection software lets you perform measurements on many different types of features, ranging from cylinders and planes to constructed sketch entities, or if you want a quicker and larger picture option, a heat map can be generated to show where any of the geometry from the scan differs from the model. The software supports simple plus minus tolerances as well as GDT with the ability to create multiple datum reference frames for different feature measurements. Once you have a CAD model and you can use generic files such as an IGIS or STEP file, you import it and geometric entities will automatically be identified. The scan will then be aligned and laid on top of your CAD model. You then can select entities from the CAD model directly and create control features that you'll be measuring on the corresponding location on the scan. Select which aspects of the feature you want to measure from distances and diameters to flatness and true position and set your own tolerances per each of those measurements. Then all you have to do is hit export and the software will measure each individual feature and create a report for you with each of these measured features noted. This is, of course, ideal for quality control applications to make sure that manufactured parts are within their specified dimensions. On the bottom, you can see two pictures the blue being the 3D scan, and then in gray, the reference CAD model. These are overlaid and a heat map is generated, and that's what you can see on the right. Green is good, and that's the area of the surface that falls within the set tolerances for that given location. Red means that the scan surface is coming out of the model or exceeding the upper tolerance value. Blue, on the other hand, is the opposite and is dipping into the model past the lower tolerance. Similarly, you can use this comparison tool to make sure that your tooling that you receive from suppliers or produce yourself is accurate to the intended design. This can save time and money wasted on improperly crafted parts. It can also verify that production jigs are properly set up so that you prevent misuse and potential damage to your parts. If you go back to tooling for a moment, by scanning tooling at regular intervals, you can plot how it's being worn out and even predict when you should expect the tool to begin producing parts that are going to be out of spec. This is immensely valuable because it not only saves you on wasted material and time from producing bad parts, 
but it also gives you the ability to order a replacement tool before it's worn out, preventing any downtime for the machine. Finally, you can use the scanners and inspection software to measure and evaluate damage such as dents to the outside of an aircraft. Since dents are irregularly shaped and the surfaces of aircraft are mostly curved, being able to reliably measure and evaluate the scope of the damage is a very slow and tedious process. A quick scan can show you the entire surface of the dent, leading to faster results and a more informed decision-making process towards how to address it. Now let's look how another company is using Creoform 3D scanners but this time for an inspection process. Pratt & Whitney, you probably recognize the name, is a world leader in the design, manufacture, and service of aircraft engines and auxiliary power units. They're a global company in 180 countries and over 30,000 employees. Their aircraft engines are widely used in both civil and military aviation And what they did is they created a 3D model from a completed scan of a PT-6 jet engine to validate that there is no interference between the engine and the aircraft wing structure. For a company with global operations and the size of engines and aircraft, being able to digitize them as manufactured is invaluable. They're able to check that an engine will probably mount to the wing of the plane while the plane could be halfway around the world. In addition to that, they don't have to haul the engine into the lab or create any special fixture to be able to measure it. The scanner can come to the engine wherever it is on the production floor. I've talked enough about some of the great uses for these devices from Creoform, so I think it's about time that we finally get to meet them. So now, we're going to run through the Creoform portfolio and it looks something a little bit like this. On the top, we have the GoScan Spark. This is a white light, lower resolution, reverse engineering grade scanner that we don't see too often used by the aero industry. So I'm not gonna go into detail later on on this. Then we have the HandyScan 3D and that's set into three different tier levels and it's a metrology grade handheld scanner that uses lasers. The MetroScan is similar to the HandyScan, but has benefits over large volumes compared to the HandyScan. The MacShot isn't actually a scanner, but it's a photogrammetry device. It uses 2D pictures stitched together to create 3D geometry. The QBar, another thing that I'm not going to talk in detail about, is essentially a MetroScan connected to a robot arm with a rotating platform, and this allows you to automate your scanning service. Then we also have the Handy Probe, which is a wireless handheld probing device, similar to a CMM machine or coordinate measurement machine. So first, I'm going to focus on the Handy Scan. It's broken into three tiers, but I'm going to focus on the Black Elite. Black Elite is the most accurate scanner that we have, and it can get accuracies down below 1 thousandths of an inch, as well as a resolution of under 1 thousandths of an inch. That means that each point that it measures is going to be within 0.9 thousandths of an inch to the actual surface or the nominal. Likewise, between each of these points, the maximum distance is going to be 0.9 thousandths, or 25 microns. Volumetric accuracy relates to accuracy, but essentially, as you get larger volumes and hopscotch from target to target, you're going to add a small amount of tolerance as you go. So, for larger parts, you're going to have no problem scanning it, but you are going to be slightly less accurate over the entire volume compared to something slightly smaller. That being said, 
The handy scan is extremely fast. It uses 11 blue laser crosses with a large scanning area of about 10 by 14. And like I was saying before, it gets 1.3 million measurements per second. That's insanely fast. And it also gives you a live mesh generation on screen as you're scanning. So you never have to question whether or not you got a certain part of your scan. The HandyScan Black is metrology grade and it's certified for resolutions down under one thousandth of an inch or 25 microns. And it also comes with this calibration plate. With this, you can run a quick software calibration. It usually takes about 30 seconds once you get used to it. And you can do this at the beginning of each shift or each time you're ready to scan or at the beginning of each project, whatever you need to make sure that you keep your accuracy over your scans. If this becomes not enough, you could set it into Creaform. And during the first year that you own the scanner, they will for free do a full hardware calibration for you where they take apart, clean, realign, and reassemble your scanner and then send it back to you. It's extremely versatile with its blue lasers. The blue lasers are a large improvement over the red lasers of the previous generation. And that's because the blue lasers are higher energy and that means they're not going to be scattered as much or absorbed as much by shiny or dark surfaces, respectively. There's also a single laser line mode with the Black Elite, and that only needs one camera to see, so it essentially gives you just a little more flexibility on getting in tight spaces that it might be hard to get both cameras a good view of. You could change the scanning area if you would like, and you technically have a limitless scanning volume. However, just remember over larger volumes, you are going to lose a little bit of accuracy. However, it is extremely portable. And like I said before, all you need is your laptop, the scanner, and some power. If you want truly limitless scanning volume, the Metroscan and MacShot are what you are really going to be interested in. The Metroscan is similar to the HandyScan, but it has this cage around it, and it uses that peripheral viewing system that kind of looks like a praying mantis head to view the cage around the scanner and use that as the coordinate system. And that means you don't need to add a whole bunch of targets to your part, which definitely helps speed up scanning for larger parts. It's still going to have a great accuracy of 1.2 thousandths of an inch and a resolution of 2 thousandths of an inch. For volumetric accuracy, that's where this shines. We are going to maintain extremely high accuracy over very large volumes. While not as quite as fast as the Black Elite, the Metroscan is still very fast. It uses seven cross lasers with a nice large scanning volume and it can get almost half a million measurements per second. While that's not 1.3 million, half a million is still quite a few measurements. And just like the other scanners, it gives you a live mesh generation on the screen so you can see everything that you get. And that's extremely helpful when you have very large volumes where it could be tricky to figure out what you have or have not gotten. It uses powerful red lasers, so not the updated blue lasers yet, but it does also have the single laser line mode with the 750. And it's very simple to use just like the handy scan and it's just point and shoot. But of course, the biggest advantage of this over any of the other is the limitless scanning volume where you are able to maintain huge amounts of accuracy over very large volumes and it is extremely portable. Again, you're able to take this out to these very large machines or castings or whatever where you don't want to necessarily take them into a lab or something like that. 
and you don't need a rigid setup, so you can just move around your parts as you need. The Handy Probe, just like the Metroscan, uses the same C Track peripheral viewing device, and it also has the targets on the device itself so that it's its own reference frame. Now, it's actually a little bit more accurate than the HandyScan Black Elite, but I wasn't lying before because this technically isn't a scanner. It still gets accuracies down below one thousandth of an inch, 0.8 thousandths or 20 microns, and it also is going to give you amazing volumetric accuracy over larger parts thanks to that peripheral viewing system. It's an extremely versatile tool because it doesn't require a rigid setup and it's very portable. You'll need the laptop, the C-Track, and the Pro. But where it shines over even some of the Creaform solutions is it's wireless. Whereas the other scanners just have a hard time being able to transmit that much amount of data wirelessly. This is taking small enough chunks of data that it can actually be wireless, which gives you a whole bunch of flexibility and it's just one less thing to worry about when you're on a shop floor. It's also very easy to use with the smart controls, multi-function buttons on the scanner right at your thumb. It's extremely accurate, like I said before, and it's actually metrology grade. You have that NIST certification if you need that for customers or to keep up with any sort of regulations. Next up is the MacShot Next. And like I said before, it's a photogrammetry device and not a scanner. So it's not going to be using lasers or anything like that. Instead, it's going to be taking 2D pictures, just like a normal camera, and then stitching them together to form 3D geometry on your computer. We like to recommend this product for things that involve very large scale measurements, something like the entire outside of a plane, or maybe wingtip to wingtip, where it would be unreasonable to try to measure with basically any other device. It's extremely simple and easy to use. You don't need any sort of photography training or anything like that. It's just a simple handheld device with your six multifunction smart control buttons on it. And it also gives you live feedback with go no go lasers to show you where would be the best place to take your pictures so you can get good information off of them. It's extremely versatile and one of the best things about it is that it integrates with other Creaform devices. Things like the Metroscan and the Handy Probe. That way you can get a whole bunch of information for the entire body of the plane, but then maybe there's just a few locations that you're specifically interested in and there you can use the Metroscan or the Handy Probe, for example, to get some fine detail. On the software side of things, we have VX Elements, which is Creaform's proprietary software suite. On the far left, we have VX Scan, which is the data acquisition section of the normal scanning process. The VX Scan has some editing capabilities and alignment and things like that. However, you're mostly just going to be using it as a way to gather the data. VXScan, however, is free, which means you can have it on as many computers as you want for as many operators as you want before they send the data to a user that has VX model or VX inspect on their computer in order to then do the inspection or reverse engineering. VX model is where you're going to start doing some modifications to the scan once you get it in. It has an automatic cleaning system that looks at all the tiny anomalies in the mesh and fixes them automatically for you. You can then do things like smooth the mesh, cut the mesh, extend the mesh, and a whole bunch of other things to change the geometry of the scan itself. Then you can gather information to form entities like planes and cylinders, and then transfer those to SOLIDWORKS 
so that you can then build a parametric model off of them. VX inspect, I'm sure you understand what this is going to do, but this is your inspection software. And that's where you're going to be able to put in a CAD model and compare it to your scan. And it will be able to create a report for you based off of each of the things that you said that you want measured and it'll create a report for you. Now we have our more specific software packages, including VX Probe, which is for the Handy Probe, VX Shot, which is for the Mac Shot, and VX Remote, which is when you want to be able to use VX Elements on a mobile device like a tablet or something like that. Now VX Elements covers 99% of our customers' needs, but there are some situations where customers need a little extra power for their reverse engineering or inspection processes. And that's where we generally recommend either Geomagix or Polyworks. Geomagix is our go-to for reverse engineering when that extra capability is needed, and Polyworks is what we generally recommend on the inspection side. Like I said before, VX Elements covers most of people's needs, but sometimes we do have to go to these other solutions. So now we're going to run through a case study of Bell Textron Incorporated and look at how they think that they could use Creaform scanning solutions to help facilitate their innovation in flight. First, we're going to go through a little bit about Bell's history. So the Bell Aircraft Corporation has been around for nearly 100 years, since 1935. And Bell Aircraft was half of this company, where Bell Helicopters was the other half. And Bell Aircraft created the Bell X-1, as well as the Air Cobra and King Cobra. But the Bell X-1 is in that top right picture. and this was actually the fixed wing aircraft that was piloted by Chuck Yeager when he broke the sound barrier. Then in 1946, Bell Helicopters introduced the Bell 47 or the H-13 Sioux. And that's what you can see in that middle picture there. And this is actually the helicopter that they use in the beginning of MASH. Just looking at it, I can hear the theme song already. But today, Bell creates some of the best vertical flight aircraft for both military and civilian usage. One of the more famous ones of modern times would be the V-22 Osprey, which is a collaboration with Boeing. Now, let's look at a quick video. At Bell, our mission is to develop the world's finest vertical flight aircraft. With over 35,000 delivered aircraft in Bell's history, innovation is key to revolutionizing the vertical flight industry. Our technology is currently evolving. The Creaform Handy Scan is being investigated as a more efficient method for validating machine setup for gear machines. The technology acts as a digital go-no-go -no -go gauge in quickly evaluating dimensional measurements. The solution is portable and can be taken to the part at the machine versus a CMM room. The Creaform Handy Scan offers a portable and efficient method for measuring raw castings for potential warpage issues. The information provided by the Creaform measurements provides the data needed in adjusting our machining processes. The Creaform system offers reduced setup times from legacy methods of up to 35% in certain cases. It's critical to our business to maintain the highest standard of quality for all of our aircraft components. New technologies such as non-contact measurement solutions are offering new possibilities for measuring aircraft components that are more efficient as well as portable.
They were investigating the HandyScan Black Elite as their inspection solution for machine gears and castings. The 3D scanner is portable, which means they can move it to the part or the machine as opposed to taking the part into the lab. This saves time and helps make their process more fluid. Without any programming or rigid setup, they're saving time, you heard 35% time reduction. They're also getting full surface data, highlighting any imperfections across the entire part very quickly compared to using something like a coordinate measuring sheen. So if you're interested in any more information about 3D scanners, 3D printers, SolidWorks, PDM or PLM, please visit our website and follow our social media. We can be found at CATI.com where we have blogs as well as postings for other webinars and seminars that you can attend. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash computer aided technology. And we're also on YouTube at CATI channel. Thank you very much for joining me on this video presentation.